Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today we are going to take a look on how to create a USB drive that, in my opinion, is probably the best in the market as a multi operating system installer and also besides having a lot of tools that will end up saving our day professionally, personally, or our friends' day by repairing any computer that has issues in a really fast and simple way. It has tools like antivirus, backup, recovery, startup repairs, diagnostics, live operating systems, partition tools, password removal for Windows and Windows recovery options. So it's just a lot and the best is that it will work without needing the operating system which will make things a lot faster and easier. So I'm going to share with you some examples and after that I'm going to share with you how to create this USB pen drive which is quite easy. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would suggest you to do so, so that it helps to grow this great community and press that like button, which helps a lot right over here. By the way, if you are using Windows 10 or 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out cdkeysales.com, where we can find budget official OM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below in the video description, it will get even cheaper. Now, once we have the USB pen drive created, all we need to do is to insert on the computer that we want to use and then boot from it. For those that are used to do this, it's easy, but for those that are here for the first time, then we just need to go to the BIOS settings. For that, usually is the delete key or the F2 key. We will go into the BIOS and then select save and exit menu and choose the boot override option with the pen as we would do to boot up to install any operating system. Now once we do that we will be on the Medicat menu with all the tools. The first one that I want to share with you is the multi operating system which is a great tool Ventoy, once again, link right over here if you only want that feature. And if we go to the menu that says install Windows, we can see that we have several operating systems right over there. In my case, we can see three folders, network with PFSense and OPNSense, virtualization folder with Proxmox and a Windows folder with Tiny11 and Windows 11 and also Windows 10 Lite. Now just choose one to boot and we will be able to install and and despite saying Windows install, we can install any operating system like Proxmox, for example, that I'm showing you on screen. So the great advantage like Ventoy is that we can have uh, several versions of Windows 11, several versions of Windows 10, several versions of Linux, besides all the other operating systems that we might want to use, like Proxmox, PNSense, OPNSense, and I don't need to use one single USB drive for each of those operating systems. Everything will be here. Now, besides that, because we could achieve that with Ventoy once again. Besides that, there is a lot of tools and let's take a look at them. Now, the first tool is a antivirus. Malware Bytes will scan our PC without having to enter the operating system, which is the biggest advantage. We all know when a computer gets infected that the whole operating system will lack the response and everything will come to a sluggish. So if we get out of the operating system and use this tool right over here, everything will Will be faster, everything will be easier to catch up, remove and have our operating system working nicely again. So this is one of the simplest tools and all the other tools will work this way more or less without entering the operating system. The next menu that we have is the backup and recovery and we will find tools like Acronish, Aume, EasyOS, Macrium, Reflect and others. I did use RescueZilla as an example, it's well known and it will allow us to make backups, recovery and clones. And clones is one of those great examples. If we want to do a clone using a operating system, it's always a lot more difficult. We need to install apps and so on and so forth and it takes longer. Right over here we don't need to install anything. The next menu that we will find is the diagnosis and we will have a little bit older fashioned tools but sometimes aren't necessary. Talking about H.2, memtest and other memory tests, mechanical disk diagnosis that we might use on older machines. So this is probably the menu that in my personal opinion is not so interesting. But for those that work with older machines, 
might be very useful. Live operating systems is the next menu and we will find there Active Desk Studio, Mini Windows 10 and System Rescue. For those that don't know, Live Operating System is an operating system that does not require any installation to run. So any modification that we do will not be saved and the next time that we use it, it will be exactly at the point that we start it. Now looking at, for example, the Windows 10 Mini, we will see that it's not a mini Windows 10 only, but it has a lot of tools that we can use to recover our system. We can see our files, our folders, we can recover everything. And it even has tools including like, for example, the removal of passwords from our PC, which can be very useful if one of us of our family members forget the password to log in. But there are so many tools that the best is to explore and try it out. Next menu, we will have the partition tools where we can find Acronish, Almay, Disk Genius that will allow us to easy manage all our disks partition. And here's another example. Sometimes when we are partitioning disks on a operating system that it's running, we have to reboot, we have to install extra software and right over here we don't need to install anything and everything will be done right over there without restarts, without anything. So simple, easy and fast. That is it. Removal of passwords is another menu or sub menu that we will find. And as we have seen on the mini Windows 10, we will find right over there the Jero lock pick which we can use to remove protection from Windows accounts and beyond. It has some options that you can explore and then use the one that will favor you. Controversial topic, but if used on a correct manner, it might be very useful and it will avoid to format and install an operating system of a family member, for example. Windows Recover is another sub menu and we will find options for Windows 8, Windows 10 and Windows 11 with a tool that will allow us to recover if Windows does not start. This will save this occasion and a lot other. So if you think if this pen is the one that you need when you require, probably it's not today, probably it's not tomorrow, but I would imagine and in my personal opinion that having one of these is very handy at any situation and besides of the option to have several operating systems. So if this is the pen for you, let's go and create one. First of all, we will need a pen and I would suggest, as I said before, a big pen, not in size, but in capacity. This one is 128 gigs, but when we finish the installation without operating system, we only have 88 gigs available. So once we start loading with operating systems, it will get smaller and smaller. So I would suggest minimum 128, but if you have bigger than better. First of all, once we have the pen, we can go to Medicat website. I will leave a link down below, but you can search on Google for Medicat and you will find the first page. And there, there is a button that says installer. Just press it and then download. And there will be a warning uh, that will appear and say that the file can damage the machine. But just forget about it. It's a tool with a lot of positive feedback from the community. So it's great, at least in my opinion. Of course, once we have the file, we just need to run it and then answer yes to the questions that it asks. And then it will ask to choose which pen we want to install Ventoy first. And we just need to say which pen and that is it. Once it finished to install Ventoy, then it will proceed to the next step, which is to install Medicat. And there are several ways to install it, but the way that I'm sharing with you is everything automatically. So it will grab the files necessary from the server and install. And for that, we just need to select automatic install. It will download and install automatically everything. And this process is somewhat time consuming. So I would say to have lunch or go for a walk because 30 minutes more or less will be the time that it will take to create this USB drive. Now, there are some warnings that we will get if we have Windows Defender activated, which I did when I was recording this screen. Now, the result was that I did individually remove some of those warnings and I said to Windows Defenders, this is okay, this is okay. But at the end, I had a warning that I had 43 files missing or 48 from the thousands of files scanned. And although I did not find any issue running any of the apps that I did try, 
there are files missing. So I would suggest to install everything to deactivate Windows Defender so that you have all the files and don't get any errors at all. At the end, we will find that the 128 gigs span has 88 gigs available to put in the ISOs for our operating systems. And by the way, just to share with you, if we want to put in some operating systems there, there is a folder called OS images, and we just need to drag our ISOs to there. In my case, I put in folders with operating systems inside, as we have seen on the example earlier, divided by network and Windows, and the other one, uh, virtualization with Proxmox. That was it. So you can organize by folders like that. And this is it. Your pen is ready and you can start using it or just put it somewhere and wait for the chance to use it when it's necessary to use any of those tools. That being said, hope that you enjoyed this video. Hope that it was useful. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.